why not ask the Lord if I could have him in the millennium? And guess what? Uh, if he can spare the guy, the dogs uh, in Israel that belong to the Hebrew children, uh, I believe he can spare mine too. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And so, guess what happened? The firstborn is going to die. Hmm. Lord said to Mo, to Pharaoh, shall not hearken unto you, that they may wonder, may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. They did all the wonders. They told them, we don't have time to read everything, to take a lamb. You don't have enough people in your house to feed everybody the whole lamb. We're not going to waste the lamb. Get two, three families together in the same house. We're going to take the blood. We're going to put the blood on the outside. We're going to cover. When the death angel comes by, he sees the blood. He's going to say, that's one of my children. Come on by. We nobody's going to die here. Amen. You ain't got no blood. Guess what? You're going to die. It is a picture of... The resurrection. If you have the blood of Christ, oh yeah, your physical body's going to go in a grave. Amen. Rich man, poor man, wealthy man, it don't really make a difference. Crooked man, good man, we all go in the same place. We all go to the grave. They're going to either burn you or bury you or cast you into the sea. However they get rid of the body. But uh, we all go in the same place. Unless you got the blood. And your body may lay there dead in the coffin, but your eternal spirit will be in heaven. Amen. Aren't you glad about that? Amen. 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 This is a picture of it. Remember, what's the Old Testament? It is a picture to remind you of things that are going to happen in the future. Your lamb shall be without blemish or male the first year. You shall take it out of the sheep or out of the goats, and it will keep it until the 14th day of the same month. And we're going to do this every year. It's called the Passover. Why? Because them Jews celebrate the Passover every year. Do you know they still celebrate the Passover? Now, they don't cut a, a lamb's throat and put all the blood, you know, like they did back in the old days, but they still celebrate the Passover. Why? It's a big deal when you was a slave and you was no longer a slave and now you's a free man. Mm -hmm. And God's going to be with you. Amen. He said, you're going to strike that blood on two sides of the post, on the upper doorpost of the house. That way, keep the death angel away. You're not going to eat it raw. You're not going to eat it sodden with water. You're going to roast it with fire. And then he says, you're going to put bitter herbs on it. What a tasty meal. How would you like to have some lamb chops with bitter herbs? Mm. You know what? You ain't going to like it at all. You know why? God don't want you to enjoy it. Yeah. He wants you to eat it. Mm. He wants you to remember this day. Oh, what's the day? It's the Passover. We get to eat bitter cooked lamb chops. Mm. Yeah. Unleavened bread. You know what unleavened bread is? That's like a flat tortilla without the flavor. I mean, it's, it's just plain dull, you know, no flavor, unleavened bread. He said, the death angel is going to pass. Now, let me tell you, I'm going to quit right here. The death angel is going to come by. There are several kinds of people inside. you got the panic in time. They're going, we're going to die, we're going to die, we're going to die. You hear all the people crying out there, we're going to die, we're going to die, we're going to die. And so they got to take duct tape and they got to tie you to a chair because you are going crazy. Mm. Then you have the so-called here. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Those are the positive thinkers, all right? Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Mm. And finally, you have the few that say, you hear them screaming? Mm. That's the way God heard us. When we called out on our name and we called out on God and said, God, we need a miracle. We're enslaved by the 
by these Egyptians and we need help. And just like you hear them crying, that's the way God heard us crying. Amen. For 400 years we cried and cried and cried and God finally heard our prayer and we're going to get out of here. We're going to be leaving. And it's going to be just a few more hours. He said, Moses said, you make sure you put your clothes on. You make sure you have everything packed. Because when it's time to go, we leave it. Amen. Amen. Now can I tell you, salvation is the same thing. You're in the deathbed. Amen. The physician comes by, shakes his head, you ain't going to make it. Mm. You can be like one of them panicking guys and panic all you want. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I don't know where I'm going. Did you get born again? Yes, I did. I got born again. Did you believe? Yeah, did you really believe Jesus was going to say? Yes, I do. I believe he saved me. But preacher, would you pray for me again? I've seen it. Mm. Christians. They didn't live a, a very good Christian life. Amen. Questioning God when they're dying. But guess what? It don't really matter. You can be a loony tune and still go to heaven if you got saved. If you're a saved loony tune. Amen. If you are a saved person, you know, one of them guys, everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. You're going to get to go to heaven too. Amen. Amen. We're all going to die. You ain't going to see the blood. We're all going to die. Don't matter what you think, as long as you got the blood on the outside, mm. God's going to pass on by and say, that's my child, I'm yeah. taking that child, yeah. and we're going to heaven, yeah. and we're going to have a good life. It don't matter what kind of life they live inside right now, while the death angel passes over, whether you're a scaredy cat, or whether you a, a hero, amen, or ready to take death on by itself, as long as you stay in the house with the blood, you say, God says, I'll never leave you. Amen. I'll forsake you. Amen. You got the blood, you get to go to heaven. Amen. That's another picture. Mm. Another picture of Christ. You'll find him throughout the Bible. Mm. I tell you, I'm glad the day I got born again. Amen. 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 I don't remember the day. I don't remember the time. I was preaching one time. I said, it could have been this time, it could have been that time. All I can tell you is I'm going to heaven. Amen. Amen. The Lord Amen. talk. I talked to him every I was talking to him right? coming up here. And it's just me and him in the car. I said, Lord, I sure wish you'd come back now. Mm -hmm. I know I ain't ready. I know a lot of people got to get saved. I know there's a lot of things that need to be done. You're probably going to scold me when I get to heaven. But I don't care if you scold me or not. Mm -hmm. I just want to be with you. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. I was told them people, you eat that food of lamb. Eat all of it. You put that blood if you'll do what I tell you, you're safe. Those that do not do that are not safe. They're called pretenders. Many a pretender in this world that claim to be saved but never got born again. Right. Pharaoh's seen all these miracles. His boy is dead, his firstborn. Firstborn son. He's weeping just like everybody else. And he's thinking, you know, if I only would have listened the first time, we wouldn't have to go through all this. If I would have listened the second time. He went through every plague. Yes, they worship the God of death. Every God, every plague represented God because God was going to make sure your gods are worthless and the only thing that's important is me amen amen now go borrow something <laughs> go make them an offer they can't refuse All right. 
I want everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I work for you, so I know where you keep all your money. <laughs> Give it all up, all right? all right? I want everything. You just gonna borrow? I'm just gonna borrow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask that. I didn't say tell him how long. He just said we're going to buy it. Yeah. I get a big kick out of that. None of y'all get a big kick out of that. I get a big kick out of that. Amen. Amen. Because I look at a guy and I go, yeah, yeah. I can tell. We're going to borrow it. Yeah, we're going to borrow it. Sure you are. You ain't going to borrow nothing. You take that bad stuff. You're going to keep it. There was a guy with five coins, he made five more. There was a guy with two coins, he made two more, two talents. There was a guy with one talent, he buried. He didn't make no money. God said, take the one coin, give it to the guy with the ten. He said, well, that ain't very union lies, you know. I mean, you know, I mean, the union would get all upset. There'd be lawsuits flying left and right if they did that today. You know what? He got it. Amen. He's going to borrow something, and he's the word borrow in the court. Judge, you know what the, the court's going to say? Return it all back. Mm -hmm. You know what God says? I don't think so. I don't think so. We're going to keep it. Amen. And we've been promised heaven through the blood. Mm -hmm. I believe it with all my heart. Mm -hmm. And you ain't going to take it. From me. The devil is not going to take it from me. I've been promised. Amen. 